Okay, now we'll go ahead and play one. Oh, did you sleep on you? Pretty good. Did the normal, the normal uh, after game. You know, you're a little wired a little bit, but you end up falling asleep a couple hours, three hours later. So I got to bed at a decent time. Have you been around campus at all? Like, is there a different buzz after a like a Um I don't know. I'm I'm a little older and I'm not really on campus much, so it's probably the wrong person to ask, but I'm sure it was. I, I'm pretty sure I talked to Jay Green and it sounded like he there's a lot of buzz on campus and he got popped, obviously played really well. So um, it's always a cool feeling to walk around and, you know, kind of feel that buzz. Um, so, yeah. I know you guys are, you're a mature group. So like, is, is it not difficult to like turn the page after something as incredible as defeating the number one? Uh, not necessarily. Like you said, we're a pretty mature group and, you know, it was it was obviously great to beat the number one team, but at the end of the day, it was just a Big East regular season game. Um, there was no, we didn't win the Big East tournament. We didn't win the regular season title. It was just a regular season game, so we have to be able to turn the page and get ready to play a good St. John's team at Madison Square Garden, and that's where our focus is at. Kaylee, do you say anything to the younger guys who haven't been in, in wins like that before? Do you, do you just kind of let them experience it on their own? Do you say anything? Yeah, I, I didn't really say anything, kind of just let them experience it on their own, obviously, you know. Um, not everyone has the opportunity to, to do what we did, and it was a great feat. But like I said, we have a pretty mature group, and even the young guys, I think, realize um, that we have to be able to turn the page and get ready for St. John's. Is there added value for a player getting to go to MSG this late in the season, knowing they're going to be back there in a couple yeah, for sure. I think just getting obviously acclimated with with the surroundings and, and how it is. Obviously, um, you know, last year I didn't get to play until the Big East tournament, and this year obviously we're fortunate enough to get to play there. And like you said, this close to Big East tournament. So I think you know the guys that haven't played there before, it'll be a good um, kind of warm up for the Big East tournament. You like the shoe background and so forth at the guard. <laughs> yeah, I, it doesn't really matter to me where we're at. To be completely honest, uh, it's just. The rim's 10 feet, and I'll shoot it from anywhere, so. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I mean, he's, he's, he's been a great teammate the whole year, even when his number hasn't been called, and he's stayed ready. Um, and when his number has been called, he's done nothing but produce. And um, not to, none of us, you know, on the team were really surprised by what he did. Um, he, he impacts the game in a lot of ways. And um, obviously, maybe UConn was a little bit because uh, obviously, you know, he hasn't got a lot of minutes. But um, nothing that he did surprised us. Yeah, kind of just like you said, it was just a dogfight. Obviously, they're a really physical team. And um, offensively, they do a really great job of crashing the offensive glass and kind of making it a, a mud fight in there. And then defensively, they obviously switch up defenses a lot, um, try to disrupt the rhythm of the game. And um, so, like you said, we're going to have to be locked in, and they're, they're fighting for their life. And so um, we're going to have to be, you know, on our A game. <laughs> when you making the rounds, you get sleep the last couple days? I, I didn't after the game. It's been a little bit better the last couple of days. But, uh, yeah, time to move on. It was a good win, but there's plenty of season left. How did you bring a team down from something like that? I mean, it's really, really high high. What is it from the uh, standpoint of what the program is in office, too? Right? How do you process bringing the team back down? Uh, I, I think the schedule makers were our friend in this case and that we – it wasn't a Wednesday where we had to go right back to practice on Thursday. So, you know, we, we had the day off Tuesday and then we, we just did some skill work with the top guys, uh, minute guys yesterday and then worked everybody else out. So they've had a couple guys that kind of, a couple days to kind of recalibrate. Uh, and, you know, we watched some St. John's film yesterday. And, you know, as you're watching that film, you see what the score is. You know, we were down nine with whatever, eight and a half, nine minutes to go. And, uh, you know, we're down one inside of a minute of that game. So, you know, we, we, we understand how talented they are. Zach, you drew the, the ladder on the board before the Georgetown game. How, how much does that help in keeping the guys focused? And kind of yeah, I mean, I, I think it, what it does is it just every game's important and uh, every game's impactful this time of year. Um, you know, whether you're playing a Georgetown team who's on the top of the or the bottom of the league or a Connecticut team who's, you know, not only on the top of the league, they're one of the best in the country. Uh, and they could all have a impact one way or the other depending on what happens so um, you know fortunately we've been able to take care of business and now we've got four important ones left. Do you think there's any benefit in playing the guard a couple weeks before the turn? Yeah I mean I think for the for the new guys certainly um, you know we're going to stay at the same place we stay when we're there for the Big East tournament 
Uh, so understanding that routine, but you know, we're flying in Saturday afternoon. It's an early game and we're out of there, so we won't be there a long time, but um, you know, having the guys being able to get into the garden and get a little bit more comfortable and familiar has to be a positive. What did you make of the St. John's response to trying to get you know, challenged and taking the pass? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't surprised. Uh, you know, that's, that's that team is, you know, they lost the Seton Hall game, but they had a 19-point lead. They lost at Marquette, but they're up double digits in the second half. So if you're talented enough to do that, uh, you're not far away from putting it all together. So, you know, the, I think they're dangerous in that regard. Uh, obviously, you know, Coach Patino's been at this a long time. He's forgotten more basketball than I'll ever know. Uh, so he, he knows what he's doing, and, and obviously he's one of the best motivators in the game. Uh, so I'm not surprised they came out and played pretty well against George. Zach, do you remember your first time in the Garden? What was that? Oh yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. I mean, it's. Uh, <clears throat> I think you ask all every NBA player what their favorite place to play is, and 99% of them would tell you the Garden. Um, so to go in there the first time as a coach. Um, you know, it was pretty incredible. It's just, it's, it's massive. It's, uh, there's so much history there. Um, and it's just a, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful facility. So, uh, you know, not everybody gets a chance to do that. And I've, I've been fortunate to coach on that floor a lot of times and watch my son play there a few times, which was okay as well. You look back at the first thing, Josh, where are some of the things that you might have done to execute to make sure it doesn't come down to a lot of time? Yeah, well, if it comes down to last shot and we win, I'm fine with that. Uh, winning by one is just great in my book. Uh, but, you know, we, we have to handle their pressure, uh, right? That's that's what they do. They come, It comes at you in droves, and you have to be ready for it. Um, you know, they're they're one of the best mid-range rate range shooting teams in the country, and that's what our defense forces people to do. So it puts us in a little bit of a predicament in terms of, some of our coverages and, and how do we adjust that uh, if we're having trouble with it. So, you know, part of the reason that game was as competitive as it was is, you know, St. John's kind of solves what we do defensively and, and what the core of our defense is because they have so many guys that are that are effective in that match. Right now, uh, I mean, I know you're on this business one and here's your next one. It seems like you're definitely heading towards that you know, right phase of the season. What do you think it allows you to get to this point and this level? Uh, you know, we have some older guys. Uh, you know, Steven certainly has found his groove. Uh, it took a little while, like it has with most of our guys that have come, been due to our program. Um, but, you know, I've got some veteran guys in, in Baylor and Trey and Call, Bello, Steven now that, that have played a lot of college basketball. And, you know, we're doing a good job of managing their minutes in practice uh, to make sure they're fresh for games. Ben and Jeremy have been terrific in that regard. Um, and it's, you know, it's allowed them to play big minutes and still be very effective while other teams are running guys in and out. Uh, our guys are playing a lot of minutes and, and their efficiency numbers are not dropping as a result of that. So. Uh, you know, you, you always hope that you're building for February and March, and you know, you could still could have a bad game. We had an awful game in the Big East tournament against Xavier last year. It happens once in a while. You hope it doesn't happen this time of year, but the reality of it is, there's always a chance. You've had twice now this year, Butler and UConn, where you've gone from massive responsible offensively to defensively for the second time around. Granted, that's the way you guys have scouted. Um, I mean, Butler, uh, Butler, were they were a lead in their shot making the first time, and we didn't change a tremendous amount defensively with what we did. We tried to do some of the things a little bit better, uh, and also they they played better defensively than they did the first time as well. So while we were able to get the victory, uh, our defense was more where I thought it'd be. Uh, you know, UConn. We actually played better defensively at their place than we did did, did here um, in terms of their effective field goal percentage and some of the looks that they got. They got to the rim a little more than I would have liked, uh, but we did an elite job of getting Caravan and Spencer off the three-point line, not giving them attempts. That's a big part of, of their offense, and, and we took that away and made them go to something else. Uh, but we've been, we've been able to do that both times we played them.